Hello everyone, I'm Herr Mokolover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign. So, new campaign, but I have a dream, my friends. A dream of a democratic European Union or alliance. So, right now we're going to choose the good old Germans because they are a little bit undemocratic and we need to convert them to some sort of democracy to ensure that we can create a democratic European alliance. So right now, like I do at the beginning of every campaign, I will show you what I am doing with custom game rules and like every campaign, almost every campaign I do, I'm not going to change anything. We'll see what happens, I don't know. Uh, however, if we're going to become democratic, don't worry about it. Cool. So we're going to leave historical AI off because why would we want to leave it on? So what we're going to do, initially, we're just going to go straight for the focus that opposes that one guy. Because of the way YouTube is going, I'm going to go ahead and not have Mr. Hare over here, Mr. A-H. So I'm just going to go straight for this focus. So hit. Uh, that guy's reign must come to an end. He means to provoke the Western powers by remilitarizing the Rhineland, but doing so will give us the excuse we need to seize power with the help of loyal elements in the Wehrmacht, in which we're just going to go straight off and start a civil war. Sim simple and easy like that. Cool. Let's get some of that. Let's get some of this. I don't want to use close air support because why should I? Um, honestly, I don't really feel like making these. Just throw these bad boys on there. You'll see what I'm going to do. Just let the time go on. It really doesn't matter except for research. Uh, let's see. Production. Yeah, cool stuff. Construction. Cool stuff. Engineering. Cool stuff. And then I don't want to help my enemies too much. So we're going to go ahead and do some naval stuff. Training. Don't need that. Do that. Do that. If we're going to build anything, it's going to be in the... <laughs> western side of the country for good reasons uh factories just i don't know build stuff here sure why not that sounds pretty good to me we're not going to build any divisions we have outdated equipment in production let's go because we're going to have a few days to do everything that we want and i'm just going to let time just kind of go on so we can get into that civil war as fast as possible because well we have a mission to do actually don't even do that you know what i'm going to do because I know what's coming up, I'm just gonna play around here. Do I need this equipment? No, I don't need it. I'll save it up for now, but when the conflict starts, um, I'm just gonna delete everything. I'm just gonna restart new. That's basically my goal. Throw you over there. You know what? Um, you know what? I don't mind training you. Go ahead and train. I wanna see what happens if I can train these guys. I'm gonna start fresh when we win the, uh, little war between people within our country. So, we we really want to become a democratic place here. A democracy. Most people would say democracy is a good thing, right? And with under this guy's leadership, he's a fascist. We don't like that. You know, I mean, sure, he gives us more pee, -pee but pee, pee is great, but we always get pee, pee anyways. So, this is our goal. Now, why did I decide to play as Democratic Germany? Starting in, you know, vanilla. This is vanilla Hoi 4. Well, that is because I had someone request that I play this from my Discord. It's, if you don't know about my Discord, it's in the description below, so check it out. If you want me to prioritize what you want me to play as in upcoming campaigns. So, because even though I take in consideration people on BitChute and people on YouTube, People on Discord, I'm a little bit more intimate with. Some would say. Some would say probably not. But I really try to talk to everybody on Discord and get their opinions. So, Wehrmacht officers challenge this guy. You know what? Like I said earlier, I don't care what happens. Goodbye. I don't want a Navy. We're going to do this without a Navy. Let's see if we can ch challenge ourselves just a little bit. Now, will I win the Civil War easily? No, I will not because I'm not very good at this. And that's okay. Well... I'm, I'm alright. Don't need that. And I want to make sure that no one has planes. No one has planes. Fighters. Nope. Don't need them. No fighters. Nothing. Uh, transport planes. Get rid of them. Stockpile of equipment. We'll see what happens. So, 
We shall purge them from our lands. Immediately, they... Prussia. They're looking a little confused there. Cool. Alright, now we're back. And we have the good old uh, Imperial flag, or military junta flag. We shall be led by von Witzleben under... Uh, von Rundstedt. Max Entrenchment. That could help. Let's get him. Uh, good, good, good. Exactly 24 thingamabobs. We're evenly matched right in the center because somehow all of our manpower is on the front lines. Good, good, good. Uh, we could do army innovations. That sounds like a good thing to do, honestly. Industry. We could really use a bonus for a land doctrine probably. Let's do that. Now we have... Oh, maybe I should have deleted the fighters. Hmm. I haven't done this in a very long time, so I don't know. Cool. Uh, let's see. What do we need? We need all this stuff. Put the fighters at the top. Put some bombers at the top. We're still making this garbage, really? Hmm. I'm thinking not. I'd rather not waste manpower on this stuff. Destroyers. Well, let's take a quick look at this. So, these are the ships. Nope, 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 nope. Not interested. Not very interested in this garbage. So, the subs that we can currently make, they're not great. I'd rather not build them. So, with that in mind, these are the destroyers that we have. Uh, they're not great either. You know what? I'll build these ships. You know what? I got rid of my old navy. We didn't really need it, to be frank with you. We'll build these ships until I can build something better. Because I will use these ships to get some naval XP. That's literally all I'm going to use them for. Naval XP. Because I'm going to build up a better navy. But that takes XP. So... Oh well. But we're stuck in the Civil War. Good times, all around. Uh, infantry divisions, these actually aren't too bad. We can definitely use these boys. And once I can pop these guys out, that will be very good. Obviously, we got nothing else. Um, I deleted all my other divisions, so we'll see what happens. Germany embroiled in a Civil War, a sudden Wehrmacht coup, led by the famed. Field Marshal August von Mackensen has triggered a civil war in Germany early this morning. Fascists, royalists, and democrats alike have taken up arms against their former countrymen. Military units have been removed from the borders to see to the internal threat. The fascists, under the, or the orders of this guy, have already vowed to destroy the nation rather than to see it fall to treasonous Germans. We'll, we'll see what happens. So I'm going to let you guys immediately attack. You can just hold your horses, then. man. Hold your horses. Let's see if we can actually get a tile first. Uh, go ahead and push the attack a little harder. We'll see what happens. I don't know. Yeah, they probably got another good amount of this stuff as well. That's all right. Oh, we have our first thingamabob. This is going to get taken out probably. Do they have a ship too? No, they don't. You know what? M German military junta rules the waves. So let's go over here and we shall patrol. Not like I got anything else to do over here. And they immediately begin attacking me here. Now we're attacking. We are still kind of not winning. Maybe. Not. Not really sure. Electronic mechanical engineering. You know what? We could do this. We get more army breakthrough. This first one for land doctrine, it's not bad. It's good for tanks and division speed and stuff like that, but... Ah, oh, it's been so long since I've actually chosen superior firepower. Ships. No, oh, whatever. You know, whatever. Just kind of hold on, guys. Um, give them a last stand. You should be good enough for that. No real worries about this. You know what? You help attack. Yeah, you're over a river. That's not a good idea. Whatever, you know. Just Civil War things. Getting attacked. Come on, guys. You got this. You're giving me more army XP, which I enjoy. And you know what? I'm going to stop doing that attack right here because I'm going to need this division to move around. Pop, pop, pop. There you go, because they're getting attacked kind of hard over there. Next up, one for one, that isn't great. What we could do is wait for these units to pop out and not deploy them early, so that I kind of have an advantage, potentially. Cool. Modify the government. August von Mackensen, I love seeing you there, man. But can we get anyone to help us with political power, perhaps? Anti-fascist agent. Very nice. Communist uh, military, not really. So... We could use a little bit more offense, as told right here. Definitely use a little bit more offense. Good. Fuel's still looking pretty good. We have patrols going on. And so far, losses. 600-some. 
800 something. Not bad, not bad. They lost their battle over here and they're attacking me again as we are about to win this battle over here. Stop attacking. You at least. Alright, it's April 26, 1936, and Spain has decided to pull a Germany and go to war with itself. Glorious. Glorious. Ah, oh, good job, guys. You abandoned the line, though. Interesting. Ah, uh, second London Naval Treaty signed. Uh, Ethiopia was annexed. Good job. Well, I shouldn't say good job, Italy. That's not really going to help us. Panzers, uh, I guess we'll, we'll do one. Maybe. We got a little bit of stuff. Supply. Mountaineers, not really worth it at the moment. Neither are motorized. Th those can wait. Next up, you guys are just kind of hanging out. We have basic machine tools. Very nice. 1936. Let's get some dispersed industry next. They're attacking us so hard that uh, they don't have very much strength. Oh, and the north isn't doing very well. That's okay. Go ahead and hold as hard as you possibly can. I could really use it if you guys would stop attacking me. See what happens. If we don't win, you know, so be it. Just hold the line. Yes, you're not doing super well. That's kind of expected. That's okay. So, I shall deploy you immediately. I didn't want to do this, but so be it. We shall attack from the north. Fairly inexperienced, but that's okay. Next, you shall be led by Gotthard Ren Heinrichi. Heinrichi. Well, just hold on, guys. Hold on. Yes, yes, yes. I know. They're very strong. They hit us very hard in the south. But we do what we must. Ah, Yugoslavia? Sure. Yeah, we'll give you stuff. But realizing a strategic weakness, the Yugoslavian Air Force has initiated a crash program to modernize and expand its force. Significant money revert reserves have been set aside to cover the purchase. A commission is traveling around Europe to look for new sources of fighters and medium bombers. Given the urgency of the issue, the Yugoslavians have insisted on immediate delivery or transfer of planes directly from the producer. Sure, you can have tactical bombers. And now we have army innovations. Treaty with the USSR. Sounds like fun, but let's go with a four-year plan next. So, this portion down here isn't doing very well. It happens. So, we might lose a little bit of territory. Oh well. Things happen. Uh, they are de definitely attacking very harshly, though. Which is, you know, good to see, I suppose. Uh, let our infantry get up there. The U.S. passes a neutrality act. Very cool. But let us quickly take a quick glance over and see if anyone is doing anything interesting. Yugoslavian stuff. No, they don't. No one has selected anything different yet. It's only the first few months of 1936. No worries. So, yes, yes, yes. I know there's a lot of red. There's a ton of red, but... That's okay. Don't want those divisions destroyed. Um, but if you want to keep attacking me, go right ahead in the north. Can I deploy some more soldiers yet? Not yet. That's okay. That's definitely okay. Just hold on for dear life for right now. Good. They want to keep attacking? Sure. Let them in. Let them, let them attack. Ah, uh, yes. They really don't like me. But Von Bit... Von Witzleben is getting quite a good amount of army XP. When can I deploy these boys? Currently 17.6. Well, very, very soon we can deploy these boys. Thank you, boys. Stockpile stuff. We still got all that good stuff here. Now. Let's see. Who's next? Schultz. Two, three, four. Ah, we're going to defend Ulm. Center of the line is looking okay. Infantry in the north. Well, you actually have them. You are not bad. Giving them a good at attack. Yes, they cannot do anything against us. Now, once they produce tanks, then that might not be super good for us. But until then, construction one, pretty nice. Infantry stuff, weapons and equipment. That sounds pretty good to me. Two more destroyers. Welcome to destroyer land. Democracy must prevail. Now, good, we're going to separate these guys out a little bit. They are attacking like crazy, which is good and dandy for us, because I'm going to attack them right here. Ah, oh, yes, little portions of the line. They're not doing great. And that's okay. Uh, I'm going to send you this way. I'm going to send you this way. You can't hold up to these guys probably that well. Ah, oh, look at that army XP. Losses, 10,000 versus 20,000. Not bad, not bad. Could be could be better. Of course it could be better, but could be much, much worse. Now, obviously, I have done this before on this channel, this Civil War, but it's been a very, very long time, and obviously you need to get down to 
Czechoslovakia to make sure that you can cut off enemies' lines and whatnot. We'll go ahead, keep throwing some men in there while everyone else attempts to hold the line. Good job, guys. You deserve a pat on the back. Go ahead and defend down here for now. Um, yeah, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, they're attacking. We, we won up here. Glorious. Truly glorious. Now, I might wait for these guys to deploy first before I actually use them again. But the north looks pretty darn nice. So, if that's the mine. If, with that in mind... No, speaking is so hard today for some reason. We're going to go keep pushing this way. Because the south, I'm not really concerned about too much. Da -da -da. Um, excuse me. Oh, wait. Oops, I took the wrong guys. If that's the case... Eh, you guys move up this way. I thought I wondered why they weren't moving. You guys need to come right there. There you go. I got my colors all mixed up. Oh, and they were immediately defeated. Okay, well, whatever. Give them a little bit more of attack from this direction. Yes, attacking over the river isn't very good. So that's why I wouldn't do it like this. Give them at least a little bit more attack in the south, in the center, you know. Issues abound. And I really should be making, or attempting to make an encirclement. So, after this, I might attack Rostock after we take this tile back. Very good, guys. Very good. Um, rest of my infantry. Just try to hold out. Hmm. What I could do is do this. Could redeploy the front line like that. I'll just bolster the line maybe a little bit. Let the infantry move around, get accustomed to where they need to be, and then I'm going to probably start... Hmm, what should I do in encirclement? Now, I could, I could probably attack here. It looks like they're running out of equipment. So, let's do that. Spearhead up to Strasbourg. Ah, oh, we got four of your plan, glorious. Let's do autarky right next. So, for Germany to be truly great, it must be self-sufficient. We must make better use of our resources and become more efficient in, of course, our construction. War propaganda against the German Reich, I think we'll be okay. Sharpen air safety regulations? No, I don't think we'll do that this time. I think we'll be okay. Industrial land appropriation? No, thank you. What can we get down here? Captain of industry? Sure. Civilian factories? Keep making them. Uh, can I deploy planes? No, I have no planes because I have no factories on planes. I have plenty of guns. We could probably do something like this. There you go. If we make anything else, so be it. You know what? Two tanks. Maybe we'll do something like that. Not bad. Not bad. Ah! A capital ship. Not a very good one. It's only a heavy cruiser, but a capital ship nonetheless. Now, getting attacked in the line, yada, 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 it always happens. Go ahead and deploy another group. There you go. Attach him. Well, maybe I shouldn't really attach you yet. But that's okay. I'll do that first. Alright, now everyone can redeploy to the line. You might lose a tile, you might lose two. No big issue. Blaskovitz, though, you are needed. Oh. Don't let them take Lubick. God dang it. Actually, that's not a bad thing. You know what? You know why? Because all but don't move. Don't you dare to move. You come this way. You attack this way. We might as well circle them right here. Don't you dare to move. Uh, which one is the four? There you are. I need all three of you divisions to attack. Three versus three isn't great, especially if on offense. So be it. So be it. We'll see what happens. Let them let us redeploy our line a little bit. They have to get more organization and stuff. Blah 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 blah. You know. Um, but oh, infantry expert, good, very nice. Enrici, now you're like that. Can we do a good attack with forced attack? You are like my special shock units. We'll say. I'm not going to say anything else. I'm not going to say the actual German version. But, you're my shock units. Uh, cool. Send one division that way. Two divisions shall be shattered. Well, everyone else is not doing great down there. Cool. Good job, guys. Good job. Next up. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, actually, you guys can come over here like this. Do that. All I want you guys to do is hold. That's all you have to do. Because they are running quickly out of good stuff here. We got a lot of equipment. And actually, since we've got enough time... 
No, I could throw on infantry right now. I could throw on another infantry battalion. Eh, we'll make ourselves slightly beefier for now. I'll change that in the future. Cool. Give me about a day. We'll have enough equipment within a few hours. Within a few days. Cool. Next up, you guys. And without you, we will attack that way. Give them a little bit more attack. Oh, very good. Very good. Do we have any planes in reserve? Central Germany kind of needs it. Ah, oh, we have a full fighter. So to deploy a single plane, you need 40 men. That sounds kind of crazy. Not gonna lie, it sounds a little crazy. I said I was gonna help Central Germany. I didn't realize it chose the other Germany. Or Northern Germany. Oh well. Ah, Strasselund. Very nice. Two divisions on two different sides. Good enough. Attack this way. Don't retreat that way. I want you to make them go kaboom. If at all possible. Very nice, very nice. Ah, uh, Vorpamern, Vorpamern. My heart for Vorpamern. Beautiful. Beautiful. Ah, oh, diverted bomber production. Oh, we lose a little bit of that. So be it. Next up, we shall do another encirclement somewhere. But where shall we do it? We can't stretch our line too far now. I am eyeing with my eyes. What am I eyeing? What am I looking at? You know what? That's what we'll do. We'll do it right here. Right there. Small encirclements to begin. All right, my good boys, good German soldiers, and soldiers who don't want to see Germany plunged into a great European war. This is what we shall do. Another encirclement. I know, I know, I don't want to kill too many German boys off, but... You know, what happens, happens. I didn't want this war. No. Ah, artillery, yes. Interwar artillery sounds like a great idea. Do we need tanks? No. Do we need artillery? Yes. Do we need more planes? In the long run, yeah. Uh, oh. Mechanized computing. Very good. You know what? You come this way as well. Good. They will bolster this area up quite a bit more. But we'll see what happens. Get that other infantry division in there, even though that's not a really good way to attack. Oh, we left that open. But we'll see what happens. Alright, guys. Force attack. Henrici, you're doing a great job. You're doing an extremely good job. And then this division shall immediately begin attacking this way. You can immediately attack this way as well. Cool. So, next up, Kaiser Verka. We must rid of ourselves of the fickle influence of private capitalists. Therefore, we will form an industrial conglomerate under our control to oversee growth in the mining and steel sectors as this will form the backbone of our military might. If we need to use it, for we are becoming, or will become, a very democratic nation. Ah, oh, yes. Wait, why are you attacking? Soldiers, please hold. Please hold. You need not attack. Very good, very good. Next up, another small encirclement soon. 1936, good stuff, good stuff. Um, do I need anything here? Probably. Engineering? Radio. Now, is there a river over here? I think there is. You attack that way, to Stetten. Zum Stetten. Dispersed industry, very good. In the long run, we will need fuel refining. 138 days, that's much better than 255, so I don't mind doing that right now. Even though I could be doing more stuff for... Uh, Navy. I need to focus more on my Navy. Cool. Take, take that division off. And then you'll get to Stetten. So called two more divisions. Okay, you both left. That's not a very genius idea. I'm not gonna lie, it's not very genius. But, do what you must. And then we'll read from the front line. Good job, guys. Very good job. Now, we don't want to overextend ourselves, of course. So, let's do that. And another encirclement. Honestly, we're getting closer to being able just to be push the enemies here, these traitorous Germans. Uh, you could probably just walk right in. They don't have a lot of strength. Now, Berlin, if I just conquered Berlin, that wouldn't do very much for us. You know what? I'm going to put you closer to the center. We might start attacking this way down. I'm glad I got a lot of the equipment. It's very nice. Go ahead and reorganize yourself, guys. We got a lot of naval XP. We got a lot of army XP. This is good stuff. Good stuff. 
Now let's get that other division, U4. Looking very fine, very fancy. Give him a little bit more force attack, leave one at home, and go to Weimar. We must become a democratic republic once again. Now this will stretch our line out a little bit, but then I'm going to instantly switch down to the left as well. We can maybe encircle a few boys or two. They're not very strong at the moment. Good! Very good. Now, I wish I could help them out attacking from Erfurt, but... Ooh, there goes that. You guys can come back down here and help attack. Come on, boys. Give them more attack. Make them incredibly weak. We've already lost 50,000 Germans. I don't like it. Well, really, two, over 200,000, really. But, something tells me, with us deploying our first Panzer Division, it isn't going to take too much longer to win this war. If you get down here in time, just go ahead. Very nice. Very, very nice. Very good. And there goes that division. Good job, guys. Next up, we're going to do the unthinkable, which actually might hurt us in the short term because I don't know how these divisions are going to pull off when I split this enemy Germany in half. With the power of German democracy, I'm going to solve this authoritarian country in half. All right, very good. Do that. Leave you at home. Tell Helga I love her and keep moving. Hmm. Oh, war economy. Sounds like a great idea. Ah, uh, I love it when we have Panzers. Oh, and more divisions. Say it so. Glorious. And soon I will do a general push. And have we encircled the enemy yet? Close. Soon. Very soon. I love Kaiser Verka. Wilhelm Bagen next, though, we will allow our citizens to purchase their own future people's car through a savings scheme, which in turn will, we will use to finance the construction of the factories that will eventually contribute in building these automobiles. Glorious. I... What about a name for these people's cars? Maybe... Volks? Volkswagen. A people's car. Not very descriptive, but very bland. And that's okay. That's definitely okay. Now, these guys, they don't look very good. Especially in the north. They, they look like they might be... Some might say, starving. And that's okay. You guys come down here, and we will do a push from here to there. Now, obviously, our lines aren't very strong, but once we do another little tiny, tiny encirclement, all will be well in, well, wherever we're attacking. Please commence an attack. Thank you very much. Do a little bit more force attack. Look at. Let's take a look at our stockpile. We need more light tanks, naturally. We're going to need a... But everything else is doing very, very well. So, can I throw anything else on here? Recon? Sure! Stockpile of support equipment. Might need a little bit more, that's okay. And, using our little, small little panzers, we have done well. We have done very well for ourselves. Just go ahead and move up that direction, guys. No worries, no worries. Yes, we are attacking over a river, but... If these guys can't eat, they can't fight. Oh, and... Do that, my friends, do that. Very good. More infantry. Thank you very much for playing. You three enemy divisions. Very good. Now, I could focus more on this way, but I don't know how long I'm going to have army XP, so... I'm going to attack once here. Do that. Cut them off through here. And then once we have this section done, I'm just going to do a general push this way. Ah, coffee. Oh, my, they took my capital. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Then you'll take, go that way. Very good. Very good. And for funsies, let's do a little bit more force attack. Because who doesn't love a good old force attack? Where are you going, son? That's not cool. That's against the rules. Uh, into war artillery. 19, happy 1937, everyone. We are in a little bit of a pickle as we're on fire a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, you guys, when you're done, go that way. You guys come down here. You know, just just normal things. And help get rid of those divisions. And then we'll launch the attack down there. Now, Spain itself is also having a problem. But they are copying us. For they have made an encirclement to a degree. Even though they are technically connected using ports. 
It's interesting to see how people copy us so much. Really should be ashamed of themselves for copying us so much. But that's okay. And, ah, Hessian. I could focus down here, or I could focus over here. Let's focus on the south. Now, this video will go on a little longer than half an hour. We're already pretty much at that point. But, I would say, it's worth it. It's worth it. How much army, ex or political power? We get about 0.95. Um, do we need anything here? Not really. Just keep building stuff. Building, I love building. 1937. Get to more dispersed industry. I'm just gonna let these guys go right on ahead. Go ahead and have a good time with all these guys down here. Franken, very nice. You guys... If you can, do a very gentle, light push. Be gentle. They are still Germans, no matter how aggressive they might be. Very good, very good. Oberbayern, you're a little damaged. Renewal of the Rome Protocols. Okay, we have Wilhelm Wagens. Let's get some extra research slot, though. Our industrial expansion and other recent advances might allow us to conduct more R&D in parallel. I agree very much so. Very, very much. Yes, they are attacking us in the north, but that's not really my concern. Once all these guys are gone, once all of this part, Prussia, it ain't gonna last too long for good old Mr. H. Fuel refining, very nice. Let's get some improved machine tools. Ah, beautiful. Good job, my fellow friends. Good, good, good. Come this way, come this way. In time, we shall throw more divisions up north. It is okay. Good, 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 good. Go ahead, take all that land that we deservedly should own. Beautiful. Form the front line. And then we shall attack with the grace of a thousand suns. Uh, I should have put you under von Kluge earlier. Oh well. You shall lead the attack from here. And attack from there. Let time go on. Unfortunately, we have lost over 300,000 Germans. I know, it is a truly sad day. Let our guys get a little bit more organization as I have some of my German coffee. Not bad. A little cool now. But not bad. Uh, does anyone have upgrades? Any upgrades? No? No? Okay. How about uh, Von Kluge, of course, doesn't. Henrici? He's learning. Give me three seconds. Okay, I've, that's enough seconds. Let the infantry do that. Let us begin or commence an attack. Ah, oh, beautiful. Truly beautiful. Ah, oh, Brandenburg, good to see you back. Uh-oh, I should have read that event. But there was a guy, that, that enemy guy. He, he's, he's no longer with us. I'm sorry to say he is passed on. But we do have Berlin. And some of our old factories back. Glorious. Glorious. Ah, that's enough support equipment right there. Hmm. Tactical bombers look pretty good. Enter bomber looking pretty good. What do we want? Anything more here? We're going to need more artillery. But I want as many divisions in the field as possible, so I might, uh, might do that. Guns? We're doing okay on guns. Infantry? Sure. Glad to have you on board. Uh, how much further until we can capitulate them? Not much further. Ah, oh, poor Saxon. They were annexed. We have mechanical computing. Ah, oh, poor Germany. Poor, poor Germany. But, we are making radar stations. But that's all the tempo that we have today, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I completed the entire Civil War within, I don't know, 33 minutes or so. But anyways, if you enjoyed the episode, feel free, maybe, to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, it's in the description below. If you want to see me play as any other nation, which I have a list going at the moment. But regardless, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you all tomorrow, and I hope you have currently have a great, great day.